Hey guys, Chef Jojo with ECO, and on this episode of Shift Drink, we're gonna talk about all the things I want for Christmas, chef style. And as usual, we're gonna talk about this over a Shift Drink. That's good. Well, it's that time of year where everybody starts writing down what their wishes, wants, and are for uh, Christmas, the holidays. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool, kind of funny, if I wrote down a list of all the things I'd like for Christmas and when it comes to the restaurant business. I think we have like 10 days or something before Christmas. So, uh, you know, the past couple of weeks have been a little bit nutty. So I'm already, I've got some that pertain to things that have just happened recently. So we're going to start at the top. Number one for me would be Christmas parties showing up on time. You know, there's nothing more aggravating than a 25 top being 25 minutes late to the party. Oh, it crushes the kitchen. It puts everybody behind. And then there's almost like it's not our fault. It's the holidays that we're late. You made a reservation. Try to stick to it. And then when the party of 25 finally gets there, whether it's on time or not, they have a great dinner. Everything's going well. And then they ask for the check to be split after everything's been rung in order and desserts have hit the table. So now you got to go back and ask everybody what they ordered and then try to split it up. I just don't, can we just avoid, I, I want nobody to ask for split checks for the restaurant. How about that? I know it's not always a pain in the ass, but sometimes people don't remember what they ordered, which brings me to the next one. Have you ever asked somebody what they ordered? You know, the, it gets mixed up, dropped to the table and they have no idea and they actually start eating it. They ordered something. Oh yeah, that's mine. They start eating it and then Someone's missing a plate or, oh, I didn't order the lasagna. And then, you know, Frank in the corner is eating a salmon dish. And he's like, oh, I forgot I ordered lasagna. Or not to mention the server forgets who ordered what. Just multiple chaos. It's only been, what, 10 minutes? You don't remember what you wanted to eat 10 minutes ago? That just drives me nuts. <clears throat> How about if we're going to take reservations for the restaurant? We don't take them all in a 32 minute span. Maybe we don't crush the restaurant and the dining room and the bar and the kitchen all at once. You know, if somebody says, well, the only time we can make it is 715, tell them they can't have a reservation at 715. I don't know how many times these happen to you where you're, everything's going really well. And then like all of a sudden the entire restaurant's full and in a matter of eight minutes, and then your entire line is getting hammered. The bar can't keep up with the drinks. The servers don't know what's going on and you can't even bust the tables fast enough. I just think that uh, if you space it out, at least give yourself the opportunity to um, have a fighting chance over these holidays. How about when you go over all the specials with your staff, they remember it. I'd like everybody to remember the specials that we're running and not have to double check or um, just try to sell them. I don't know. And the cooks, could you remember what the special is as well? Could you guys actually listen and, and go, oh yeah, I got it. And then how about if you're gonna, this is what I want. I want everybody to work the shift that they're assigned. That'd be awesome. Everybody shows up to work. Everybody does their job. And uh, I'm going to top that. If you're not going to come in, why don't you call in? No, no call, no shows for Christmas. That's what I'd like. I'd like to have a staff that shows up. Is that too much to ask? Sometimes I feel like it is. Now, here's one that I don't know if everybody this happens to, but it's something that happens to me or has happened to me in the most inopportune times. I would like for all of my equipment and all of my kitchens to work through the next two weeks. That's all I'm asking. I'm asking when, you know, I have that huge party coming in that, I don't know, all the ovens in the kitchen work are, you know, Somebody has told me that it's been out for a week. That that would be pretty cool too. That'd be nice. Or, you know, tell me that you burn out the burr mixer making all the hollandaise because you left it on way too long or it burned out. I don't know. Just talk to me. Tell me that it's burned out. No? Don't want to do that? Okay. Um, here's, here's one that I just experienced almost two days ago. I would like everybody to know the temperature of their steak. I'm, 
Do you know what mid-rare is? No? Then don't order it. Because I promise you, that's a freaking mid-rare. I promise that's a mid-rare. I'd like the same thing for the cooks, you know? Cooks need to know their attempts to be able to do it. But how many times have you sent that mid-rare out and it comes back that it's exactly what they ordered, but it's not, or they need to add more temperature? Know what a medium is. Pink in the center. Good board. Everybody needs to, maybe we should put that on the table. Everybody wants a, a steak dinner for Christmas. You know, that present for me, or just know what temperature you like your steak and really know it. That one gets me a little fired up. Um, the, this one is kind of like, it, it confuses me when, you know, everything's going really well. And this is something that's personal because I'd like every year, at the end of the year, we have to have more um, inspections by the health department because at the end year it closes. So like no matter what, we'll have a full restaurant and lo and behold, here comes three health inspectors that pulls two or three managers right out of the mix because our property is so big and that's for like an hour and a half. And everybody else kind of has to pick up the pieces. It's not that I don't like the health department there. I just wish they weren't there when it was so freaking busy. But you know, that's the only time I'm open is when we're super, super busy. Um, so health department on busy nights. Yeah, there's a, that's a cutting at, like that's like right in the middle. Like, okay, yeah, we, you always should be ready for the health department, but sometimes you really just don't want to add it to the extra weight to carry and it could break you eh. or make you stronger, but most of the time. How about this? How about your vendors show up on time with completed orders? That's what I'd like for Christmas. I'd like for when I put an order in to my company that's supposed to deliver food and product to my establishment, show up on time and don't forget anything. How many times have you put an order in, know that you need it, and then right before the party, oh yeah, they, you know, you realize, oh yeah, those guys still haven't showed up with the fish yet. And you're calling them, you're texting them, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be there in a minute. And then you find out it's on the wrong truck. Man, the holidays kind of pile everything up on you all at once, right? I know it's kind of, if I miss something that drives you crazy during the holidays that you wish that you could receive from the jolly old St. Nick, throw it up there so I can uh, get, say, yeah, I totally left that one out. But you know what we all probably need a little bit in this year? Is we all should get some patience. And most of that wish would probably be for all the people that come and eat in your restaurant that show up late and ask to split the checks and don't know the temperature of the steaks. Everybody needs to relax and remember that the holidays are supposed to be a time of joy, not a time of misery. But um, we kind of got to survive them, get through it, so we can tell our stories later in the day, like, oh, you got to remember this party. Um, it's crazy busy. It's crazy, uh, a lot of pressure, and it's tough. But it's kind of what we signed up for to get through the holidays. It's a great time for everybody to make that money. And it's a good time for us to do what we do and do it well. Anyway, just my thoughts of what I'd like to get for Christmas this year um, are for the holidays. And as usual, um, you know, take the time for those people that get you through the holidays to, you know, do something special for them. Recommend them for this program we call Chef ECO of the Month. If it's anybody that's making a difference in your life or in your career that's helped you along through the holidays or just through just general times, write us a letter, tell us about this person. And if we select your letter, you could win $50 for Nominatum, and they could get $150 worth of ECO gear. So that's $50 of ECO gear for you and $150 um, dollars worth of gear for them. All you got to do is write that letter, and you can send it to Chef ECO at ExtremeCulinaryOutfitters.com. You guys can follow us on YouTube. You can hit that little bell down there to subscribe. You know, you get a notification when we put these shift drinks up. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. As always, I'm Chef Jojo, and until next time, 